doing anything. Are you anything. ready now? How about now? Oh my God, you're recording, aren't you? I am now. You're exasperating. Good afternoon, people that are watching this when it's coming out because we changed our upload schedule. Welcome back to the He's Wrong, She's Right podcast. My name is Tall Guy. This is Short Bimbo. We're bringing you your news today about all of the army fuck-ups recently. And not necessarily army fuck-ups, but um, the army hasn't been in the news for anything positive. So I guess you could call it all fuck-ups. But Nona wanted to start off talking about a dream she had. Okay, so. and we're just diving right in? Yep. Oh, okay. Let's go. Let's go. Well, yesterday we talked about Ozempic, and okay. because of that, I had a dream about Ozempic. I don't and... dream about drugs. <laughs> I don't think that's a normal thing that people do. Well, in my dream, you had quite literally dragged me to the doctor, and you were... I dragged you to the doctor. You were trying to hold me down. Can I help you? What are no. you... Why, why are you inspecting me? I'm just trying to figure out why I would have done that. Yeah. <laughs> you were holding me down okay. on the examining table holding Ozempic over me, telling me it was the only way. It was the only way. The only way for what? I don't know. That's I woke up just having this overwhelming feeling of dread. Mm. It was a pretty terrible dream. Feeling like okay. <laughs> it was the only way that you were going to continue being with me if I was allowing you to inject me with you create, Ozempic. You create some of the weirdest scenarios in your dream. No, but I think it honestly stems from how we as women in the 30s to 40s range, I'm 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 almost mid 30s. Are you saying women have their midlife crisis before men do? That's what it sounds like you're saying. No. You're saying that you're, what's you're your not dream? letting me okay, talk. Go ahead. It has nothing to do with a midlife crisis. Yeah. It is so ingrained in our brains from the 2000s and even 90s of you have to be skinny. You have to be skinny or else nobody will love you. You have to be skinny or you will not achieve anything. And as we talked about yesterday, body positivity <laughs> has come into play in recent years but growing up it was not an option which do you to think be sells anything more? less than skinny which do you think sells more honestly i don't know do you think the so going back to the south park episode then real quick do you think the food industry makes more money from body positivity or do you think the pharmaceutical industry makes more money from the products that they sell to counter obviously big pharma for you, sure you think so you think pharmaceutical companies but think, i think they go hand in hand aren't a lot owned by the same parent companies probably i don't know i know johnson and johnson owns a right so it, it products breakfast food it and... <laughs> all gets played in together feed okay. us terrible foods get fat and here's a medicine to make you not fat Nobody's being force fed the foods though. People are making stupid decisions on their own and putting themselves in that situation. Uh yes and no. There's a lot of foods that you don't know have additives in there that we should not be consuming. There's a whole conspiracy going around right now regarding fruits that are being injected with some sort of molecule to make them more uh, last longer essentially on the shelf and we should not be consuming that okay strawberries being put out for rabbits and them steering far away from them i'm not even consuming them because they can tell that this. they're pardon i don't know anything about this <laughs> rabbits are not smart enough to know anything is uh, it's not just rabbits though it's okay. i don't know it there's something going on with our fruits right now I don't know exactly what it is, so I can't speak on it exactly, but... Well, without the thing that these conspiracy theorists don't understand, that without genetically... Everything has been genetically modified. Even the things that they say are natural mm -hmm. got to the state that they're at. Like, 
if you look at what corn looked like 200 or 300 years ago, it's nothing like what we have now. And they're like, oh, I'm going to buy the all natural organic corn. It was modified to get to that point. Okay. <laughs> like they're, they're selecting one specific point in time to call that the natural state, except that was never the natural state of that product or that food. Okay. It's just like, it's the same thing with uh, people talking about, oh, you invaded this land and blah, blah, blah. Like, that's, you're just picking, okay, in 1750, you're picking that as like your starting timeline for all of human history and who, where borders should be. If you want the U.S. to go back to that, the rest of the world also has to go back to that. And that also means... There would be nobody here to take care of any of this stuff. Okay, but perfect example yeah. are people with celiac disease and steering far away from all gluten here in America. But then as soon as they go to Italy, they have no problem eating bread and pasta. What the fuck? What What is that about? about? That. I don't know really anything about that, but I also think that a lot of those people are just full of shit. No. Yeah. A lot of people like to say that they have a certain disease because they had one reaction one time. No doctors ever confirmed it, but they want the attention. They want to be able to have a special thing all the time they're just like vegans and crossfitters there are very few people that actually have issues with those foods and have those diseases there are more people that want to say that they do because it's the popular thing to talk about and people will go out of their way to make them something special at the barbecue and they'll have to bring their own thing and then they get to talk about it and they're the they're the people that are exceptional and yeah and then they force it on their kids. Yeah. I'm right. Everyone knows it. I have no comment. Everyone knows it. You know people. That... <laughs> I have no comment. So, so I held you down on the table and stabbed you several times in your abdomen. Is that what you're saying? Uh, you didn't successfully stab me in my dream, but Why? you were holding it over me. And you kept telling me it was doing? the only one. What was the doctor doing? They weren't even in the room. So I broke into a doctor's office, held you down myself, and how many arms did I have? Just your two. So what were you but doing? You're literally double my size. So. What were you doing with your arms and legs? You were just laying there taking it? I was in shock, honestly. Well, you, you didn't actually successfully stab me with it. Okay. But you were just holding it over me, saying it was the only way. You were waiting for me to say, okay. You are waiting okay. for consent. And I didn't ever give it to you. And then I woke up okay. traumatized, okay. traumatized. Sure. Being is, skinny is the this only. Is, this is peak um, woman having dream about cheating and waking up mad that man cheated on woman in dream. What? <laughs> That's what it sounds like. It's the same kind of like you said you woke I up traumatized, but yeah. I, I've never held you down and tried to stab you. Uh, the act of stabbing <laughs> me was not what was traumatizing. Okay. So Telling was... me the, that the only way that you were going to be with me is if I'm skinny. Okay. That is what's traumatizing. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. See, and it's something that has never even crossed your mind because that's not anything that was ever ingrained in you because you're a man. And so because it's something that something you... something that I would never do. So why would I cross my mind? To be skinny? No, I'm saying it's some... I would never You're do missing the things. point. You're missing the point entirely. Okay. The dream is about how we as women are told or have been told for years and years and years that we have to be skinny. We have Just, to be perfect. Don't you wish you had the tism so you could be carefree too? <laughs> don't you? Look how happy I am as a person every day. <laughs> Which, speaking of guys, he told me you guys were all up in arms about the dress that I wore regarding Mike Glover. So I wore my sister dress to it. It's just a gray version of the They're coral. The, exact same, the pink. Yes. Oh, By Free People. By who? Free People. Are they going to pay you for that? No. Okay, I'm going to bleep it out. Okay. They're not getting I'm a just shout letting out. you know that they oh, are by not, the same. They're not going to get a shout out because <laughs> they didn't pass. If you want to know who it was, pass. I'm oh, my you. God. Yeah. So. 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 Um, speaking of the tism real quick. 
Yes. My tism causes mm-hmm. me to read everything. Yes. I read every little detail. I read every comment. I read every contract. I read every word. If you miss, if you miss an Oxford comma, he will know, I'm, and he will call you out you. on it. Yep, I'm sending it back to you. Mm-hmm. You're not going to get. One Are you going to talk me. about all the contracts that we were sent and didn't sign? Oh fucking god! Don't deal with Berkshire Hathaway. They fucking stuck. Trash. Ugh. Watch. I hope they watch this episode and they're like. Ugh. We sold your house. They won't. No, you fucking didn't. I sold my house. Get fucked. All right. So what what contract are you talking about? Just any in general. Okay. I don't sign anything without reading every word and dissecting everything about it and what it could potentially mean. Mm -hmm. More people should do that rather than clicking the accept box. Mm -hmm. And okay. I deal with this all the time with insurance. Yeah. I run it through word- for word. How many typos do you make that get kicked back? Typos? No. It's I explain the policy to the person in detail and how many of them do you think nine remember? out of ten times come back? The client comes back saying, I have no idea what I have right now. So I can't even tell you what I have. I have no idea what my deductible is. I have no idea what coverages I have. And I used to be in shock over that. It, I no longer am in shock over it. How many of them do you think actually remember or care? They just care about what the total is. Yeah. That's it. You could have the worst policy ever, but your total is good. So the premium. Because people are pinching pennies finally when they're paying attention. And then when a big hurricane comes through, oh, my agent never blah, blah, blah. Oh, no. Your agent took advantage of the fact that you just wanted a bare bones policy to get underneath a certain number. Well, that's not the agent taking advantage of it. That's the agent doing what you asked. The agent taking advantage of it would be stuffing in other things to try and make more money on their end. That would be taking advantage. Um, I choose to not close a deal when I know it's a bad policy. So I walk away from a situation like that. Who do you send them to? Nobody. No. You just say I'm not working with you yeah. and hang up the phone on them? Not hang up the phone. It's usually at that point we've gone back and forth on quotes and things and, oh, well, what else can you cut out? Or to... you make $3? Right, exactly. Like, no, I would rather not make the $3 than okay. give you a terrible policy. I actually just recused myself from a deal a couple of days ago. And who did they go to? You know, do you yeah, know I, I know. You? I know who it is. Ah. And uh, they flat out got lied to and thought that they had exactly what I was offering that had, you know, Did they come all back? The... Is that how you found out? How do you know? Uh, I know because it was sent to me by the lender. So gotcha. I know exactly who it was. Gotcha. And um, it had absolutely nothing on it. Fun. It was just a dwelling policy and that's it. Fun. Anyways. I digressed. So I guess we're going to talk about the pop culture stuff. Okay. Instead of the army stuff. We'll talk about the army stuff on the next episode on Thursday. Oh. For these people. Because we're we're already into this and that's kind of what we've been talking about. Okay. So we talked yesterday, Mm -hmm. both in reality and (laughs) in episodes, Mm -hmm. about a YouTube channel called Sunny V2, Mm -hmm. which um, is pretty good. I mean, he's, he gets millions of views, and he only puts out an episode once a week. Wow. But as I pointed out to you... I wish we could do one episode a week. That would be so much better. As I pointed out to you, no, the, well, the amount of effort that goes into his episodes is actually even higher than ours. Okay. He has better editing, production quality. The videos might be shorter, but the amount of time invested into creating those videos is actually more. Okay. So you would be doing much more research, screenshotting things, finding I do have video. some things ready for the... Okay, so um, which of the things did you want to talk about first? I thought I think the Mike Tyson thing is pretty pretty good since he's going to be okay. fighting then what's I'll, his name soon. Um, it is a sanctioned fight officially. Yeah, well, it was always a sanctioned fight, and it's July twentieth. You had the date wrong. It's uh, not June. Whatever. It's July twentieth in Texas. 
officially sanctioned as a professional fight, and both will go on their pro boxing records. Well, Tyson, I don't, I don't, I don't care what anybody fucking says. I don't want to fight him. No. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter how many steroids this guy has taken. Have you this seen, other guy. Have, so you said he's like a YouTuber or something. Yeah. I don't, I'd never heard of have him seen, ever in my life. Have you seen life. how Tyson moves? I don't know. He's he, he's got so many muscles. It's just like he reminds me of um. He reminds me of like a like a cartoon character from when I was a kid. Like how they like somebody that can like literally go like this. And you're oh, like, that hurt. All they have to do is touch you with their finger and you're like over there okay yeah I but he's see like that. his movements are like really like surgical it's okay. like weird like but he's known for biting which is also no, he's not known for that he was famous before the no no, no i know but like happened. me as a non-fight watcher that's what i knew him for okay. biting off the guy's ear evander holyfield right evander holyfield okay that guy that's all i knew him for just being a big ass dude, biting off, and it was I watched during was it was during the fight or after the fight? During, I watched the fight. Damn, my dad. I was on HBO if I remember right. My dad used to get the so we had um, Direct TV mm -hmm. and whatever it was before that. Okay, and he and my his business partner would buy these. I don't even know how they used to do it back then. They would buy these uh, cards because you had to put it like you get the box. And then you had to put like a, it looked like a, a debit card or credit card, like into the slot. What? And that's how you got access to your content. So you, anybody could have the box, but you had to have the card that goes in there. And that's what unlocked your channels. What stuff. year was this? In the nineties. Meanwhile, I had some bunny rabbit we, ear, antenna ears. We had, we had, um, they made these, it was, I mean, this shit's so antiquated now compared to what we have with, um, directional, uh, shifting with. Like signal for satellites. That's how like the like the um, Starlink dishes work. Now they use constructive and destructive signaling. Okay. So the dish itself doesn't move, but the signal moves. Okay. So it can follow the satellites and move in the air without the actual physical device moving. But back in the nineties, like that's my brain trying to keep up with your conversation. Back in the nineties, we had this big dome on the top of our RV, and the thing is, you're driving down the road, it would move to like keep pointing at the satellite in the sky. Okay. <clears throat> And we had these little cards that you put into the box and it would like unlock certain channel packages and stuff. And they would also always get these ones that like unlocked everything. Okay. So we had, you know, all the different HBO channels at the time and like every porn channel that you could get, <laughs> like everything. We had every channel. So we would watch the fights for free without having to pay like, I mean, at the time it was like probably 40 bucks or something. Now it's like 200. Damn. But this one's gonna be on Netflix, so and they say it's free with your Netflix membership. Are you gonna watch it? Yeah, of course. I just want to see him get his ass beat. Not Tyson. I want to see the Paul. What, what is his name? It's either Jake or Logan. It's one of the two. I don't know which is which. I think it's Chad. <laughs> sure, because <laughs> he's a Chad. But I just want to see Tyson like just come out round one and just beat the didn't shit out of him. didn't he just have like a medical emergency like a mm. week ago tyson i don't know i, don't know. I, don't I mean he's old isn't he i think he's in his 60s Damn. i think he's like 63 something like that how old is tyson let's look it up mike tyson professional boxer um postponed what? Due to an ulcer flare up, it says. Oh, one day so ago. then. So I might have been right about it being June. It might have been moved to July. No, no, no. What what I had saved was from over a month ago. And he so just he Paul. just had the medical emergency about a, cu a couple of days ago, less than a week ago. So this is just saying from Variety. I don't know, but he's 57. He was born 66. He's actually like a month older than my mom. Wow. So, but yeah, it just says postponed. Blah, 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 from Variety. It's an ulcer flare-up. Okay. Uh, the new date will be announced on Friday, June 7th. Okay. So this be will be coming out same venue, a eight... couple days before the new date is announced. <laughs> yep. yep. So go check that out, I guess, if you care. If you care. If, you if care. you're planning on watching. Yeah. If you're not... 
then don't check it out. Right. Just, just stay here on this episode. Make sure you like, get subscribed, visit nonaphelps.com. Link is down in the description. Visit America's Technology Center of Excellence, Lee Max, Lee Max Media. So I've got a cough drop in my mouth, so it's like trying to trying to eat the cough drop and talk at the same time. How many episodes have we done? Um, Almost 40. Okay, so out of the 40 episodes, I think 35 of them you have a cough drop in your mouth. No. Yes, you have been sick pretty much since we started. Well, when we started, it was pollen season. Yes. Mm -hmm. I have a red truck. My truck was yellow mm -hmm. for the majority of the start mm -hmm. of this show. Um, now I have hay fever and post-nasal drip. Mm -hmm. Actually, most of the congestion is going to just now actually in my nasal cavity. Right. And I think there were five whole episodes where you were actually doing okay. Yeah, whatever. That's what happens when you're a person. You just have allergies. I don't <laughs> have allergies, so therefore I'm not a person. You have allergies. You just are not exposed to things that cause you the same kind of reaction. Everybody has, everybody, an allergy is just a... Uh, um, okay. The pollen does not affect me the way that it affects you. Not everybody's and... allergic to pollen. Some people have food allergies. Some people have product allergies. Some people have... Skin allergies related to certain, you know, touching certain objects like nickel dermatitis. Like there's yes, a billion. Yes, I have that too. I have an adhesive allergy. All, an well. all an allergy is is a hypersensitivity. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. If you're allergic to something, you're right. Just not but just the way the that you things. the way that you said it was like because you're all snotty, and I'm not. Yeah. You implied that therefore I was not human. Yeah. I'm human. You're a robot. We already we already told them that like a a while back. Remember, you're the you're the sex bot, and I'm a normal human. That's how we work together. Ugly, attractive, robot. Does human. not compute. Does not <laughs> compute. If that's what you want to say. If that's what you want to say. So, now the fight's being posed. I wonder, like, I don't understand what kind of ulcer would postpone something that's already seven weeks away. Or he's getting scared. No, no, it's not what it is at all. Okay. It's not what it is at all. In fact, his birthday is June 30th. So I would think that he would want to do it closer to his birthday. Because there's going to be more hype, more money, whatever. You push it back even farther. You kind of separate those two things. I would have to imagine because of when this was announced and when the date. When was it announced? In like. January. Wow. And everything for these stadiums and these venues, everything mm -hmm. is scheduled out way, way in advance. Right. The only way that they would do it within like a very short time. So like if it moved like to the 27th instead of the 20th or whatever, they would probably have to move something else, another event. Right. So it's probably not even going to happen this summer. And then he's going to be another year older. Yeah. A little bit slower. I'm, I'm going to guess... November, around Thanksgiving time is what my mm -hmm. guess would be now. Because if it's not going to air during the summer when people don't really have much else going on, right. kids are out of school and stuff like that, it's going to have to be around some sort of holiday. So I would say like Thanksgiving weekend probably. Saturday, the Thanksgiving weekend. Your game? That happens at noon. It always <laughs> happens at noon. So... <laughs> It so would've... your whole day is scheduled. Yeah. Well, you, you heard it first, guys. It's always. He will be on the couch. Michigan, Ohio State, noon, Saturday, after Thanksgiving, every year. Mm -hmm. And it will always be that way. Mm -hmm. And then that night you predict it's going to be the yep. rescheduled match. Yep. Mark my word. Well, okay, hold on. Yeah, it would have to be Saturday. There wouldn't be a college football game at the stadium. There wouldn't be anything else at the stadium because the NFL teams would be playing the next day. Because mm -hmm. that's where it's, it's at AT T Stadium, right? That's where the I have no idea. AT T Stadium is uh, where the Cowboys play. Ah. Uh. And it's usually the Cowboys and the Lions that play, but they don't necessarily play on Thanksgiving weekend. You have a game, um, like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, NFL games. Okay. You're clearly invested in this. 
No, I just know. It's historically, it's been that way. It's the end of the college football season. Mm-hmm. It's like basically when the NFL teams start ramping up, when they start playing their like uh, heritage games, we'll call them. That's like kind of the best way to put it. Like it's always the Cowboys versus the Lions. It's always there's stuff on Christmas Day and stuff like that. Okay. <laughs> You have all the big college football rival games on that Saturday. You know people are already going to be in front of their TVs. They're not going to be out doing anything else. Mm-hmm. It's the best day to put on, in my opinion. Anyways. It'll either, it may be Friday. It might be Black Friday. Because they'll know everybody's home from shopping. Mark my word. <laughs> okay. One of those two days. What What are those? Let's, let's give a precise day right now. Okay. Let's see here. Where's my calendar? It's usually... Mid 20s for Thanksgiving, usually like the 25th or so of November. Looks like it's the 20, no, 28th this year. Okay. Oh my God damn it. Come on. Sometimes I hate this thing. Maybe. Is it? Hello. Thanksgiving Day is the 28th, yeah. Okay. So November 29th or November 30th. One of those two days is what I'm predicting. If it's not moved back, like, just one week. Gotcha. I don't okay. think they can't move it into August because once you get into August, I think the reason that it was July 20th is because there's no college football or NFL anything yet. Okay. It's uh, NHL is over with. The NBA is over with. Do we have Olympics this year? Yes, is in it Paris. Summer Olympics? In Paris. Summer Olympics? Yes. So it must be before the Olympics then. It has to be. I feel like that's during when are the Olympics. I feel like that's smack during the Olympics. Friday, July twenty sixth. Uh, so it comes six days after is the opening ceremony. Gotcha. So yeah, they can't move it back. They can't move it back one week. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm I'm a hundred percent certain that I'm right. I'm dead. Which, on. Speaking of the Olympics, you want to hear something fucking crazy? Sure. They have outfitted where the teams are going to be staying with anti-sex beds because there, apparently sure that's always a thing There's no always something weird apparently the last olympics they were having giant orgies and so they are preventing these orgies by having anti-sex beds that's not possible right exactly like what is an anti-sex bed that would be an anti-sleep bed too yeah. so what the fuck <laughs> unless okay so unless they know everybody's every athlete's weight and so they program like a plus or minus five pounds and then like an alarm goes off if plus or minus and it becomes like a like a bucket <laughs> and like if, if you're outside of your five pound limit oh my god don't put if on, somebody else tries to sit on your bed yeah don't bring, <laughs> don't, bring, don't, bring, don't, bring <laughs> clothes, don't wear too many clothes to bed because you might get um what was that man there was something it was like a. Maybe it was just a skit on YouTube or E-Bombs World back in the day. It was one of those, what do they call it, the bed that flips into the wall? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A trundle bed. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Um, a Murphy bed. Yeah. Yeah. And it was like that, and like the person was like scared of getting into it, and like they would lay down and like slam them <laughs> into the wall. That's funny. Yeah. That, maybe that's what it is. Or instead of slamming them into the wall, it like ejects them. It's like some, there you like, go. some like spring-loaded thing underneath them. So, oh, like, every... can't, c- couldn't perform yeah. at, the, at the Olympics because the next day because I got flung across the room. It would work perfectly if it was a spring-loaded thing Yeah, because um, you could use that for your weight measurements. So like you know, and it's like a spring trap like for... And then everybody there who's performing in the gymnastics yeah. would Jump, be able to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So would be able to yeah. circumvent yeah. The, the alarm system. Yeah. Part of their training is... <laughs> is are trying they to have, trying to have sex, trying to have sex in their anti-sex. Bed. Oh my god, that's fucking I'm gonna have crazy. to Google what these things look like later because I want to know. Okay. I want to know exactly how. They... I don't know that pictures you have been released because probably people are gonna try and even figure out how to. Even if it's like more narrow than um, what's a uh, uh, so like an army cot. You can have sex on those. The problem. With... Have you? No. The problem with a cot though is trying to put it together. Everyone mm-hmm. knows this problem. Okay. You don't know this problem because no. you've never done it before. No. Maybe I'll just go to the surplus store and get one. I'll give you the experience. No, thank you. It's trying to get trying to get the last corner. 
is almost impossible. You will get hurt. I promise you. I promise you. No, thank you. Come on. No, thank you. Comment below if you want a video of Nona trying to assemble a cot. You guys are fucking assholes. Comment below. Tell him to get fucked. They're not going to. They're going to be like, yep, I want to see that 100%. It has to happen. Watch. Don't be an asshole. Whatever. <clears throat> um, no, we were talking about, so we talked about Tyson for a bit. I didn't know that he went bankrupt. I didn't either. Do you think this is another, do you think he has enough money to pay off his existing debts and that this is just a thing to stay relevant? Or do you think this is like, a um, what's his name? The actor? That Nick like, Cage. Yeah. Like a who's Nick having, Cage. having to say yes to everything. Yeah. Uh, it could be both. You think so? It could be a relevancy thing, and also this could be my one last big payday. Hey, Mike, if you want to give me a free Lamborghini, I would love it. Yeah. Apparently, that's what he was doing for a while in like the nineties. He was giving people giving people cars, cars. yeah, Walking including in. a police officer. <laughs> How fucking crazy <laughs> to, is that? To get out of a speeding yeah. ticket, he gave like him a, instead of giving me a ticket here, just it was keep like a, my it was car a or something like that, right? Yeah, right? it was yeah. just keep my car, and yeah. then the police officer got fired for it. What? I don't even know why you would accept it if you were the cop. You, you just like if if you called in. What you were pulling somebody over for, you just wouldn't be able to give them the point. Well, this I think this was the early '90s, and so it was it was kind of during the corruption era, and there was a lot police, going on. That police have always been corrupt. I think I think a lot more happened in the early '90s than nah. we'll ever know. Nah, nah. Somebody wrote a book. Okay. You have a hair on your upper lip. You want to get it for me? Did I get it? You moved it. Yeah, you got it. Good job. Okay. Good job. Good job. Dude. Um, some of the other ones though, Amanda Bynes. Yes. That was already seven months ago that, that video came out. You said that you had seen some stuff about her recently. Yeah, she's kind of popped up here and there. Um, she's trying to make a comeback in her life. I know that she's had a, a huge downfall from retiring at twenty four years old in what, twenty ten or something like that. So she's yeah. she's my age. Um No, she's my age. She's older she's your, than me. She's almost oh, really? two years older than me. She's 38, and she just turned 38 oh. last month. Okay. Two months ago, I'm sorry. Okay. April 3rd. Okay, I was close. I was just guessing. Let's see um, I knew she was in her 30s, or late 30s. Um, but I didn't know that Easy A was her last movie, period. Um, the last thing she was in the news for was celebrating her friend's birthday yesterday at a winery. Oh, okay. Well, um, oh, she looks... Crazy. No, she looks terrible. She looks even worse than she did in the video. Yeah. <laughs> Not... So if, if you showed me that picture, I would never say that that was her. So she's trying to get to her life together at now apparently almost 40 years old. Yep. And she's charging people $100 a video for shout outs. So you pay her. A cameo? Yes. Okay. You pay her $100 and it's like, you know, hey, happy birthday, blah, blah, blah. It's Amanda Bynes, blah, blah, blah. I don't know what she says, but. That's how she's making her money right now. And then the other thing she's doing, which I didn't even know she had gone to fashion school and had graduated and then stayed sober for a couple of years. Is that what we learned? Yes. Um, After obviously having multiple stints in and out of rehab. Um, But now she's going back to school to be a nail tech. And so she'll be in a nail salon with all the other nail techs, I guess. And trying to get her life back together in that way. And I mean, obviously I am going to give props where props are due on getting your life together. It doesn't matter what age you are. Pardon? April 22nd, 2024. Amanda Amanda reveals she's trying to win back her ex. Oh, okay. I mean, that sounds like your crazy friends. Friends? No. (laughs) In and out of rehab, going through a full blown divorce, only to now be getting back together. Oh, you're talking about people across. Yes, the I thought you were talking about Mike again. No, no, no I was not, no, not. I was also. literally using my head to point across the street. <laughs> when we were moving all the stuff into this house, I was like, I think that's across the street from the guy that used to cut my hair. She's like, No, it's not. I'm like, Yeah, no, it is. I can see it right out the window. That's <laughs> his house. And I had no idea. Yeah. Well, I had gone there a couple of times at the beginning of COVID to get my hair cut. Right. And, and I not. So. Right. So I, I literally had no idea. 
And then I woke up at midnight, like two days before Halloween, to bang, 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 bang. Not on this and, house. And oh, it was across the street. He was trying to get into the house and after this, getting out of rehab. This house and, is pretty well sound isolated. Yeah. Like, you have to be very, very loud for it to be heard inside the house. And then, in fact, to hear it in the back of the house, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. passed through several rooms, several walls. But New Hanover County Sheriff's Department responded very quickly. So that was, it was handled and taken care of, and he was hauled off to jail. You think? I believe so, yes. I didn't see anything about him being arrested, but. Okay. Possibly back to rehab then. I don't know. But all I know is they responded very quickly. So I do appreciate that. Any of the other ones that you want to talk about? No? Just Amanda? Mike? Who else are we talking about? I don't know. I don't know. The videos I showed you. Those are the only two people you told me. I I asked him before we start, like, what are we talking about? And he's like, stuff. Stuff and things. Don't forget the things. Like, so I literally, every day that we are recording, I am just trying to figure out what is happening. I will give you, we'll we'll start having production meetings. Stuff and things. Let's start having production meetings on Stuff and things, guys. That's what I'm told. We're going to have stuff and things. We're going to have a production meeting every Monday now. It'll, okay. It'll be you and I. We'll sit at the table. Okay. And we'll take a picture to make it look like we're, like, you'll have to set up your laptop across from me and we'll. No, like this isn't. Talking. No, it's not about pretend. <laughs> no, we actually no. need to do yeah, this. Yeah, we are. But we're going to have behind the scenes pictures. So it looks like we're more official. Than <laughs> we will have the meeting, but we're going to. We stage, just need to have the meeting. We don't gonna, need to stage anything. No, gonna, we need to actually do it. Yeah. I'm going to get the little phone tripod. No more stuff and things bullshit. Stuff and things. No, I need more information than stuff and fucking things. Okay. 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 This is the Andrew crazy ride, guys. I am on a daily tangent express, remember? Trying to figure out what is happening in his brain. Where are we going with this? What's happening next? Okay, let me reel it in. Did you take your medicine today? Yes. Okay. Did you? I don't take yeah. medicine. No, I was just making sure you didn't take my medicine. Oh. Yeah, see? But that wouldn't make any sense because I've never accidentally taken your medicine, so. But it's still left the audience hanging for a minute. They're like, did she? Did she? But it was a what weird. Would she be it for? was a weird question because I don't take medicine. We, so it we, threw me off. Like, what are you talking about? We hate your about? channel name. What would you be taking medication for so we can use it against you in addition okay. to talking about your cleavage? Right, about my dress. Yeah. How dare you name your channel something punny before you ever even know what you're going to talk about? I wouldn't say our channel name is punny. Okay. There's no yeah. pun yeah, sure. involved okay. in it. I bought the domain for the website in October of last year. And we didn't start the show until March. So, and... There, there was nothing, no idea that we were going to be talking about Mike Glover or anything like that, especially at that point in time. I just thought it was a good name and it worked really well. And there's no conflicts with any other patented, trademarked, registered, copyrighted, anything. It just worked. It worked because he is wrong and she's right. That's why it worked. No, I'm always right. Yeah, always. Oh, and I figured out what we're going to call our guests. I told her this the other day. Our guests are going to be called our victims. Originally, I was like, oh, we can do a mugshot. And I was like, wait, that... no, never mind. I guess it would have to be us. We would have to have mugshot as part of the thumbnail, and then there are our victim, right? No. Just, yeah. just victim is fine. Special victim. Welcome to the set, special victim number one, special victim number two. No, no, right. please present your evidence. What is your case against Andrew in this crime? <laughs> this crime against victim one. This heinous crime yeah. of looking so terrible. What's um, uh, the show we were watching, Resident Alien? Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Or how, how's it go? Dun, dun. Yeah, because he, Law and Order SVU. That's yeah. what he's reenacting. You know that, right? Yeah. Okay. Just making sure you know that. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like we could, we could, oh, 
the shitty flute. We get the shitty flute version of that. <laughs> or um, does Charlotte get to keep her uh, banjo? What it's a she... ukulele, and I bought it. Okay. So yes, she gets to keep the ukulele that I bought her. So if we, so can I get her to play those notes? Sure. You have to pull up what okay. the notes are so that she can play it for you. There we go. Pling pling pling. This is the evolution <laughs> of an idea. This is the ADHD brain. Evolution of an idea. Okay. Evolution of an idea. <laughs> is that okay. your next shirt? Evolution of an idea. And it's, I'll steal from unsubscribe and it's the Tism Touch. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not going to steal the design from those guys. They make more money than we do. <laughs> that is correct. We, we make, make zero dollars. Actually, that's not true. On Rumble, we've made 22 cents. Wow, guys, we're fucking yeah. rich. 22 yeah. cents. Hey, but for the view count, if you did the What map, is Rumble again? It's just a very terrible version of youtube okay i've it's never not, heard of it's, it it's pretty janky there's some stuff that they really need to fix okay it's kind of it's it's unintuitive are you gonna be that guy who um took a job at uh, a video game place that he loved to play fix the one bug that was bothering him and then put his two weeks notice in i've heard of this but sure <laughs> They actually, the, the uh, programming language that they use PHP is something I'm really familiar with, so it would probably so, yeah. be pretty easily. He's going to do it. No, I'm not. I dare you. No, I'm not. I dare you. No, I'm not. I dare you. I dare you to go work for Rumble just to fix it. Okay. If anybody that works for Rumble is watching this, when we upload it to Rumble, mm -hmm. reach out on our website, okay. call out the form, say that you want to hire me. Yeah. Make sure you put the dollar amount. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because this would probably be, let's call it. Let's call it a month. Right? So you're offering to hire yourself out as a private contractor? Yeah, for one month. Just one month to work on. Okay. Yeah. Because, like I said, it's at least I've never consumed any content on their platform. Okay. But we upload to their platform. Mm -hmm. And the user experience for a content creator is not that great. Trying to figure out where are your different menus and options and things like that. And like, there's no just like YouTube Studio isn't perfect, but it's so much better than Rumble's <laughs> back end. It just, it just is. There's no, it's not even close. Let's put it that way. So you should hire Andrew utilizing, to fix that. Utilizing any of like their um, stats and analytics tools and mm -hmm. stuff like that is just a pain in the ass. The only thing worse than Rumble's. UI, UX mm -hmm. for creators is Facebook's or Meta's um, ads. It's every time you toggle something, okay. the entire fucking page, not even just the page, but the, the uh, um, panel that you're interacting with to make changes. Like if you want to say, instead of it being book now, you want the learn more button, like everything refreshes and shifts. You go to click something and it's like refreshing in the background. Everything fucking moves. It's stupid. Facebook should know better. They have a lot of money. Okay. Anyway, so you've completely bored me to death over here. The, well, the video is over. So I'll ask you before we go okay. one question. So Jelly Roll, who I've made you listen to a couple of times and right. came here to perform last year and I would have loved to go, is married to somebody um, named Bunny. Or Bunny I, I or guess Benny? Bunny. Okay. Maybe it's actually Bunny XO. I only have heard her as Bunny. Okay. Um, they've been married for a while. They have a family together. They live together. Always they. A while. So mm -mm, you don't get to see. Um, so oh, they, I believe, had a relationship and then broke up and then got married. So uh, they've been on and off for a while, but they've been married for several years. Okay. That's all you need to know. Anyways, so they apparently had told each other their hall passes okay. either before they got married or after they got married. I don't know what the timeline is. But she met 
her whole past. Okay, that's not uncommon for famous people. Right. I give her that. Um, what do you think about meeting your whole past when you are under the impression that you can do something with that person and actually kind of making it happen whether you actually you're phrasing it really weird the question you're asking is would you fuck your hall pass if you ran into them no yeah no yeah that's not what i'm asking you're asking if i think that you think that it would be okay because we had the conversation about it therefore it's okay no taking a meeting with somebody who is your hall pass even if your intention is not to fuck them because you know what the implications would be. Well, if you're taking a meeting and it's real official business, then that's fine. Mm. I don't know. I feel Is like it another musician. I'm assuming. I don't know. I I didn't I didn't dive into it. All I saw was took a meeting with Hall Pass. So I don't know who her Hall Pass is. Okay. But I. I feel like that still is crossing a line, even if you're not doing anything. But then there's no such thing as a hall pass then. If it's not a hall pass, then it's not a hall pass. Right. So I think that hall passes shouldn't exist. Okay. That's just my personal opinion. Are you saying that because you'd be scared in that moment or that you're scared that the other person because you've been cheated on would do it? Uh, both. maybe both. I don't know. I think I think they're just wrong. Okay, it's creating a loophole in a marriage, and that's just wrong. Okay, that's just my opinion. You guys can bash me for it. I don't care because I don't read the comments. So remember, get subscribed, like, <laughs> leave a comment, tell us that you do in fact want to have Nona try and put an army cot together. No. Please don't. I'll do it on a, on a live stream. I don't want to do it. Do it on a live stream. I'll just throw the bag on the floor. I don't want to. Right out here in the living room. I don't want to. Let's set up a three camera view. There will be a I don't want ground to. level camera and above view. Please no. Yeah. I beg of you. Please no. You actually don't sound sincere. You actually sound like you do. <laughs> you sounded like you're being like, no, please no. But you're really saying, yeah, okay, that sounds fun. Ew, don't go down that path. That literally <laughs> sounds like what every guy says after she said no. Well, the order of the words, no, stop, don't, and no, don't stop. <laughs> no, don't don't even make a joke about that. Okay. Not, no. All right, goodbye. Goodbye. Smile. Don't make me put together a cot. I'll be so miserable. He wants to do it, guys. I don't. I genuinely don't. Because we don't need a...